Hopefully this is working. I've upgraded my sound a little bit, so hopefully it sounds better. So I have a haul for you. These are things that I've purchased recently um, from lots of different places. Hopefully I will remember uh, where I bought them. Uh, my eyes are watering like crazy today. So if I look like I've been crying, trust me, I haven't yet. Uh, let's just get started. Um, I got this from um, uh, AC Moore. So they're the closest like craft store to me. So I uh, often pop in there to see what's going on. And um, I needed, I didn't have a palette like this at all for watercolors or acrylic paints or um, any, like no palette. I had no palette. I used a, uh, like a tile. I sometimes use a tile as a palette, but so I bought one uh, to use with some other things that I have going on in this haul. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of messy, but um, it, it was like three bucks. It was like three bucks and it looks like an artist palette like I'm Bob Ross. It does the job, you know? It's the Premiere by Nicole. They have so many different options to choose from. I just picked this one because it looked like an artist palette and you know, whatever. I always order at least once from scrapbook.com in my, my crafty budget. So I really, okay, this is Lawn Fawn Storm Cloud. I honestly thought that this was a navy cardstock. If you look on scrapbook.com, okay, do this. Look on scrapbook.com under uh, Lawn Fawn's Storm Cloud and you tell me if you see navy or gray. It's one of those like, what do you see, this or that? I saw navy, but I did not investigate. I still love it, you know I love gray but I, I really thought it was navy. Um, and then I got uh, vanilla malt, a nice off-white. I don't have very many off-white card stocks, and so I got this one. Um, it's called vanilla malt. Uh, I also got cilantro. I think next to um, white, of course, green is the next most used card stock color for me. No. It's fog. <laughs> I completely forgot about fog. So scratch that. Um, okay, so then um, I also, it's all mixed up. I'm sorry. It's all mixed up because I've been using it, but I promise I'll try to remember where exactly I got it from, but this was um, Blick.com and I wanted to uh, have a Bristol. It's a Bristol Smooth, it's nine, nine by 12. This is a uh, Strathmore Bristol Smooth and I know we're always very interested in the color of the Bristol, but um, Strathmore is far whiter than this if you're interested. So it is, it's a really nice pad and of course, you know, it's nine by 12, it, great quality. It's just not, it's not white like I want it to be. So uh, scrapbook.com just recently started branding their own adhesives. So um, I put a couple in my cart to try out. And um, so this is the tape runner. This is the permanent. I have tried the, like the re reusable. Um, I, I like that it's as tape runners go, it's a tape runner. Like some people prefer the dot, that this is dot, dot adhesive. And some people like to be able to take it off and use it temporarily, but this one's the permanent one. They have a, per the permanent one is uh, purple and then the um, reusable, I guess it is, reusable is blue. And then they have these full sheet. This is uh, eight and a half by 11 full sticky sheet, like stick it adhesives, but scrapbook.com. And um, you get five in a pack. I've already used it. It is thicker than stick it adhesive, but works just the same and just as well. It, um, is, it makes it thicker, your die cut, so you might have to maybe shim it a little bit when you're going through the die cut machine, but ultimately, I really enjoy using this cardstock. Um, <clears throat> on, along the same uh, vein, not adhesives, but uh, scrapbook.com exclusive items, I saw this chipboard 
and it's white. And of course, I think they had at the time, it was like heavy, extra heavy, or two times heavy. So I was like, oh, well, I'm definitely gonna go with the heaviest of chipboard, you know? That was dumb. That was dumb because I can't cut it. Like I tried and um, none of my dies will go through this. I use the Big Shot because I believe the Big Shot has like a stronger roll, like a stronger push to it. I, it, I don't know, it could just be my machines, but um, I put it through the Big Shot and it's still, I didn't want to break it, so that's as, that's as far as I got. Um, leave me a comment down below if you've tried any of their additional chipboards, like maybe the less heavy and if you've um, cut it like in your die cutting machine because that's what I want to do but this stuff won't do it for me. I got these directly from Tonic Studios. You can get them at scrapbook.com also but I ordered them right from the uh, Tonic USA and this is the one I, I just recently used but it's I can't get the glitter to come off. You can die cut it really beautifully. Um, it's not overwhelmingly shiny. Like, it's almost like a satin glitter finish. I don't know, some of these, do you know what I mean? Like where, like this one, it has like a holographic glitter to it. This one isn't, okay? There's, it's just black. It's just shiny black. Black sapphire is the color. Um, this one, it almost has like a holographic or multi-colored kind of sheen to it. This is the sugar crystal. And like you can clearly see like pink flecks in the thing, but isn't so it's not pure white, but it's still beautiful. It's gorgeous. I've got gold dust. This is um yeah, gold dust, eight and a half by eleven, five sheets per pack. Um this one is tropical teal. I think it's tropical teal. I pulled out all of them and took close-ups of everything so that you guys could see just how gorgeous it is. Um, this one's Candy Floss. So it's like, you can clearly see like there's flecks of other colors in there. Oh Lord. All right, this, this I got from Tuesday morning on a, I think a paper pack, but this was $4.99. This is the We Are Memory Keepers dies. It's a nesting star, nesting dies starburst. $4.99. $4.99 for seven dies. I have not used them. They may not cut anything. <laughs> I don't know. But um, you could, I couldn't beat it. So I got these. Oh, I got the um, alcohol ink palette. This is the Tim Holtz alcohol ink by Ranger. I don't know how many slots does 36 compartments. Okay. And it has like this door. You could mix colors over here. You could use this for um, liquid watercolors, which is what I intend to use it for. Um, I will call this the stencil hall, the, the great stencil hall of May of 2018. I got a lot. <laughs> uh, Echo Park. This some of these are from MFT directly, and the others are from Scrapbook.com. So I got Echo Park paper, six by six stencil. Um, it's like a. Oh, does it have a name? Zebra print stencil. Um, but I want to use it as like water. Got to use your melon or something, I don't know, sand, maybe. Um, I also got the Echo Park Starfish Fun Stencil. And it is just all these different kind of starfish. It's from the Under the Sea, I guess, product line. Um, these are all six by six stencils. I got Kite's six inch square artistic stencil in Regal Diamonds. So it just has like the sparkle, like little sparkle icon. I don't know. This is a six by six uh, designer Kaiser Craft and, and it's Splash. I used this on a recent video, but I just loved all the different varieties of splashes that I could ink blend. Heck yeah. 
So um, then I got some from MFT. I got, this is the English brick wall. This is a slightly smaller wall. It could, this could even be tile, like subway tile background in like a kitchen for a kitchen card. Yep, that's yours, you can have that one. Um, circle burst, it's just a, a bunch of circles. Um, like a concentric circles, like the, like a burst. I'm trying, I don't know. I've got cascading scallop. I used this one. I used this one to actually emboss a card front um, when I made the seal card, the slider. That's, that's what I did. Um, this is the herringbone, chunky herringbone. Okay, so you've got it ink it on one end and then flip it around and ink it the other way and it makes like a herringbone pattern. Ah! So got that one. I also ordered this Yupo paper. This is just a small pack. Um, it's not any cheaper than the Ranger. I'll show you the difference in color. Oh wow, that's a big difference. Like this is far whiter. So if that sways your opinion, if you're covering this with multiple colors, you may want a um, more uh, cream tone. I don't know. Um, this is the other thing I got from Tuesday morning. This is called, uh, this is the Simple Stories Let's Party paper pack for $2.99. And I don't even know if that's what I paid because often when you go to Tuesday morning, you get up to the register and you're expecting like $20 and they're like, $7.99. <laughs> and you're like, did she forget something? <laughs> That's how Tuesday morning is, which is great. But um, so I don't, but I don't know. I didn't keep the receipt. So, um, it, but it has like a happy birthday themed um, pad. I thought it was cool. And it has like rainbows. So yes. Oh, and then the Echo part. I have cut this one up. Oh, yeah. I love this paper pack. Love it. Okay. It's the Summer Dreams Echo Park paper pack. I believe this was also in a Simon Says Stamp card kit, like with the bikini. I loved it then when I saw it on everyone's projects, but this is really still really pretty to me. So I bought some... Uh, acrylic paints that I showed on Instagram and so I bought these I think I'm gonna get me and Dexter to paint these um, wooden things like balloons I was thinking about filming that so if you would like to see me and Dexter painting these with the acrylic paints let me know and I'll make it happen it was either these or like some funky letters that I still might do still might do that so that's mine I gotta keep that one did pick up some more Distress Oxide inks. I didn't get a chance to swatch them for this video, but I did start to use this one. Sand, oh yes. This one is a great sand color. Yes. Antique linen, like I, I often associate it with like an off-white, like the vanilla malt, but it really does make a nice like sand color if you, and, it, and it's buildable, so. This, this is Faber-Castell's Cement, um, I guess like stenciling medium, I don't know. What are they, I don't know what they call it, but it looks like sand. So I bought, oh, it's, you can't see. Um, but I got it to try to do some sand, like stenciling with some of my stencils. So hopefully that'll be coming up in a, f in a future video. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. This one is actually uh, by Deco Art. I also got this at AC Moore. And this is the metallic gold. It's called Splendid Gold. And um, so I got that one when these were on the way. So these are Distress Paints. And um, I got them in my favorite Distress Ink colors. And um, so I got and I got two gray ones. I didn't even mean to do that. That was an accident, but whatever, I'll keep them. Um, and then I have, I ended up with two purples um, because when I got them, um, it 
was all dried up. I got these at from Scrapbook Warehouse because they had a greater selection of the paints than uh, scrapbook.com or really anywhere that I could find online. What I'm running into is the violet, and I know that violet pigments can sometimes be really difficult to work with, um, but this, uh, this is the wilted violet color, and both of them, the one that I originally bought, and then the replacement that they sent me right away um, is still all dried up and not creamy at all. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you in a clip the difference, like, one is the wilted violet all dried up and then what the one of the ones I've already opened looks like. You can definitely tell something's wrong with it. So I don't know. Um, I haven't tried to contact them since then. It's been a couple days. Um, we'll see what they say. I have been loving the Jelly Roll Stardust Pen in clear. So I bought a two pack thinking because I really want to wanted to do fine detail glitter work and my Wink of Stella and then and the Spectrum Noir and whatever glitter brushes are sometimes are really big and they put out too much. So um, I wanted some little detail pen and this is fabulous. I love this pen. Like I want to write everything in glitter. Everything. Okay. So this is an iridescent circle um, confetti. It's flat, it's not a sequin, it's confetti. And it's called the Crystal Cloud Circles Pure Sheen Confetti by Nouveau. And I did get this from scrapbook.com and I, this is beautiful, beautiful. So this come, brings me to my fuse tool. I bought a fuse tool. I have been wanting these for years and I've never tried it, but I wanted to test it out and see what its capabilities were and also make my own sugar pouches. Memory people keeper. Really? Our memory keepers fusible 12 by 12, uh, 10 pack. Okay. And it's just the, like, like a thin plastic, not quite, quite the same as acetate. Acetate's a bit thicker and more rigid. This is like thinner plastic. Um, this is the Project Life fuel, Fuels Tool by Becky, Becky Higgins. It is exactly the same as the other one, except it's white. Pokey tip. This is the like the one that seals things, and I wanted to test how well it sealed things and if I could put liquids in there. You can't. Don't do that. <laughs> you might be able to do it with a different grade plastic, but I tried it and it did hold water for quite a while, but eventually it did burst and you, nobody wants that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, this is the like, I guess like perforated, perforated. This is the perforated one. And then it comes with this little awesome like ruler with these skid pads on the back. That's cool. I like this. Um, so, so far I've tested it. I did make a, that shaker card with the cloud uh, confetti, but um, <laughs> mic issues. Oh, geez, I whiz. Ah! <sighs> Ooh, my colored pencils. Can I haul those? It was a gift. Husband recently bought me the entire 160 set of the Prisma, not Prisma, Faber-Castell Polychromos. Oh. In case Faber-Castell wants to put more pencils, more colors, if they want to add more colors to their assortment of polychromos, I have room. But this is the Bits Bitsky? BTSK, I don't know. I'll link it down below. Um, but it holds 160. I have this one for my polychromos, and then I have this one for my Prismacolors. So it has my Prismacolor pencils in it. And then I have another one back with my Gold Faber, uh, Faber Castell Gold Faber colored pencils. I had ordered six polychromos, but then, um, I was, I loved them like right away. And my husband was sitting over there like, 
oh yeah, you like those pencils? And I'm, he's like, where are you gonna buy the whole set? And I was like, Amazon. I think it's the cheapest on Amazon. He saw, he must have ordered it like when we were talking and I didn't notice and it showed up. And now I have polychromos. Um, I think that's it for my haul. And um, leave me a comment down below. Um, Find me on social media. I'm on Instagram. I often post ridiculous things on Instagram stories. Um, you can find me. I do tweet things sometimes and Facebook. Anyway, I'll find me on social media and I will see you in the next video.